Now it's Wackademia, the world of wacky academia, which gets wackier and wackier by the day. But just uh, just going back to that, Daisy mentioned behind the news. Mm. Now, this mm -hmm. is this, uh, and we should talk about that in, this in Wackademia, because this is this service. I, I don't know how many parents and grandparents appreciate this, but in all our schools, the ABC runs this show behind the news, which kids have to sit down in front of every single week and listen to and be shown. I remember my son coming home from school. Oh, Dad, today we saw him behind the news this, behind the news that and that. And it is disgusting left-wing propaganda, as we just saw there. How dare our tax dollars be spent indoctrinating mm. Daisy, our kids, with this sort of garbage? Well, exactly. And it's been going on for a very long time. I remember... Behind, I'm about the same age as your son. I also remember in high school watching Behind the News and having a similar kind of a vibe to what we saw, maybe not quite as explicit, but it, it, this was in the early 2000s. So the ABC has been pushing this literally for decades. And because it's disguised in a very sort of innocuous, kid-friendly way, it just slips under the radar of so many adults and, I think, parents. So parents out there, you've got to be so vigilant about the kind of stuff that they push under the banner of, you know, well, education. It's quite alarming, really. James? Well, you know, this goes back to something that we've spoken about time and time again on this show, which is the coalition was in power for nine years yeah. and they didn't do anything <laughs> about this stuff. You know, they didn't uh, do anything to fix the school curriculum. They didn't mm -hmm. do anything to fix the ABC. They gave it more money in the dying days of the Morrison government um, so that they actually have more money to keep on putting out. This is essentially propaganda. This is the liberal narrative, this, um, you know, that, that, that they're pushing out there into the heads of kids with at the behest of teachers and then the kids go and you know I mean because obviously they you know don't have access to all the stuff you know that we do because they're kids you know so they just accept many of them are going to accept that this is truth the great irony of this of course is that in the schools you know they make this whole big thing you know oh we don't do rote learning anymore no 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 we <laughs> teach we teach critical thinking we teach critical <laughs> thinking Daisy if you don't mind which, of course, you know, is code word for in this whole sort of upside down, bizarro world of the progressive liberal left. You know, it's code for. So here's the truth. Um, the right is bad. Conservatives are bad. Australia is bad. The entire Australian curriculum, not just that segment, is based on this implication that Australia is kind of sort of illegitimate, which yeah. is why they have they those cross-curricular priorities yep. through it, it. Which, are, which are all about undermining the shared narrative. And you have to ask, I was talking about this before, why wasn't there more outrage at people being really angry that people were getting up, insulting the Queen, burning the flag, flag, free speech, fine, but people also, you know, as we see from the left, have the free speech right to get very outraged mm. when people outrage them. And yet Australians, because I think, you know, we've got this whole generation that's been indoctrinated with this sort of stuff, you know, they're missing the whole point. And I think to that, I guess that's where I was coming from before. I accept Toby mm. Young's uh, verdict, Daisy, that you were right, 100%. <laughs> but unless there's some kind of pushback yeah. from people saying, well, actually, to, saying particularly to kids, no, uh, burning the Australian flag is not correct. But I guarantee you in classrooms, uh, around Australia, they'll be showing the burning of the flag and saying, "You see, this Yippee, is this yeah. is this is this is how you show your legitimate form of free speech." 